Hi, this is Tanika, and I build the WordPress membership site. And in this video, we're going to start building our um, course content in this demo site. I hope you have watched the previous video, which um, where we set up a login um, page for this demo site. Now it's time for us to start adding our course content. Um, since this is a demo site, I'm just gonna um, do a sample layout. And my goal here is to show you what you could do with Mimbarium's um, short codes and gamification capability. So we're not gonna use any um, gamification plugin in this demo, but I'm gonna show you how I did it. Um, with just Mimbarium alone, and of course, with the help of um, Jet Engine and Elementor. So I'm just going to move myself on the other side. As you can see, our active plugin is still Elementor, Jet Engine. I added Jet Menu, but I haven't really um, implemented this much yet. I'm planning to use this for um navigation later but more on that later um and then we also have of course member with active campaign um if i log in here so i'm i'm, I'm logged in as an admin by the way and i go to courses so i added this navigation on the side so as you can see i added some courses already and i'm going to explain to you how I exactly did it. So first, um, um, let's just, I'm also gonna show you what's inside so that you're aware. Um, course A example here. Um, if you could remember, we have created some drip tags and complete tags for the seven day free trial. So we have here, example, course A, um, we have day one to um, day seven. And um, basically, there is a featured image and some title and some indicator if they have completed the lesson or if it's locked or if they are still going through it. If I click the lesson, I will see um, this layout. Let me just shrink my face. But I will see this layout. Um, I have a title. I have some indicator which course is this is part of. And I have some sample video that I just placed just so you see um, what you could add. And then I also have um indicator here if it's completed or not. I can actually move it maybe at the top of the title. But for now, I'm going to leave it in there. Uh, I also have a navigation on here. So day one, um, if I'm go, going to day two, I also have the next and previous um, link. This is just an example. Um, it depending on your course layout, this could be a more um, detailed. So this one is just a very simple example. Um, at the top, I have created a navigation so day one to seven, ideally this should be in one line, but I need to adjust the CSS. My goal for this navigation is to show you that, um, example, if I'm in day two and like I could still, I can also see what other days I need to take or I haven't taken yet. Um, everything is open right now since I'm in an admin, but we're gonna switch to, uh, um, the sample test account that we set up in earlier videos to see how this exactly works. Now I'm just gonna go back to um, maybe our courses first, just so I could demonstrate. Um, this video is gonna be a bit longer, um, but I will do my best to um, explain in details what I did and to give you an idea how Memberium can really help you. So, um, 
the first thing that I did is I created with the help of um jet engine I created a post type so if you activate jet engine there's a post type in here I created a courses and then I also created a lessons and then after that I have created a relationship between the two so I connected the two um maybe I should or I could record a video how this works but what it's trying to do is it's trying to tell that um I want courses to be the parent and I want lessons to be the children of courses basically courses will have some lessons and the relationship type is one to many that means lessons can only have one course but courses could have um as many lessons as you need to. That's what I set up in this demo site, but it could be different based on what you need. I just leave everything as a default, except um, this one. I think I, I, I turn this off because I don't want to um, be able to add some courses from the lesson page. And I'm gonna show you what I mean. If we go to the courses here, and then let's just check course A. So course A, um, by the way, I have set the protection to the seven day free trial. Um, I haven't done um, gamification in this page yet, but we'll use this later. Um, so in here, um, example course A, um, as you can see, I have assigned seven days of content or lessons in this course. Now, if I need to add more, I could. So I could add a new lesson from here and add the title, and that will be automatically created as a lesson. I could also connect an existing one. Let's just say um, I think the A should be included in course um, A. Then I'm going to click this and then connect lesson. And that will show in here. And then, of course, I need to update this post so that it is updated with the new lesson. But I actually don't need this here. I only want course A to have day one to seven content. So I am going to um, disconnect this one. So I'm not going to delete the item because if I delete it from here, it's also going to be removed from the lesson listing. So I'm just going to disconnect this. Yes. Again, this is purely Jet Engine's post type and relationship functionality. Um, highly check them out. I actually started recording videos um, for Jet Engine, but if you have any question, like example, this one, um, let me know so that I know what type of video I will record next that relates to this one. So, this is how course A is um, set up on the back end. Now, if we view the course A, um, I am at first there's there's gonna be no content like this. We need to create some templates. So the first template that I did is this one. Um, and you could find your templates or find or set up your templates under Jet Engine and then listing. In the listing, I created um, course listing and lessons listing. So if I edit this, um, as you can see here, I have set the featured image. So what I done is I just grab a photo or an image and then use the dynamic tags and set this as a featured image. The same for the title. So that's what I um set up here you could also use the dynamic image widget from jet engine this one but i just used the simple one for now from elemento and then of course i also grabbed the post title now when adding a listing like add new it will ask which listing source you need the data to be 
pull 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 or um came from. So example, listing source is post, and then I could select like if I want it from my courses or if I want it from my lessons. So you need to decide on this one. So after I created my listing template and courses, I have created this archive template in Elementor. And in here, I have grabbed um, the listing grid. So if I edit this, I grab the course listing template that I created, set it to three column, and um, just added some order in here. So that's this page. Now on this page, um, example here, um, these are lessons. So if you could remember, it's this here, lesson one or day one to seven. And what I've done is um, I created this listing. Again, if we open this, um, it's going to show us the listing that I have here. And this is where um, the gamification for, um, I mean, with Memberium started. So I know it looks a bit um, too wide here. So maybe I could set the preview width to just 800. Just so um, you could imagine. Um, so this is a featured image. This is a title. So if I'm going to open the navigator, I have some dynamic field and um, it's pulling a custom or meta field that I created. So if you could remember, um, we have created some drip tags um, and we also created some mark complete um, tags. So each days here, each lessons here has its um, drip tags, which we will use to drip content later. And also, um, we also set some complete AC tags. So I created a meta field for that. So I pulled that data and I'm using this short code from memory. I'm gonna zoom in so that you could see properly. What I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm um, first in the filter field output, I'm doing a short code. And then I enable the customized field output. In here, it says mem underscore has any tag ID. And I grab the value from this meta field. Module S means we're grabbing, we're using this value from the meta field. And then after that, I, I created some template in Elementor so that at least I could have some design because it's gonna be hard to do some um, layout inside this um, field format box. So I have rely on using Elementor templates here and I just called it from here. Now, this is purely Memberium. So um, if example, you check out um, this short code. it will give you a data of how it exactly is used. So it says here, conditional shortcode to control access to portion of a post page or widget based on the login user's tags. So the value from here is what um, we're basing it on the login member, if they have that tag or not. So that's why I'm using that in this one. So it's hard to see in here because I have two templates overriding um, the view, but I'm gonna open that um, template later. Next one is I have just grabbed um, the post title, which is this one. So this dynamic field is this one, this part, this change, um, depending on their status. And then this dynamic field is just the title of the lesson. Now let's just open this dynamic field, um, this templates that I'm using, just so you see what I'm trying to do. 
Now, in terms of design, I have just created a very simple um, layout for now since we're just um, aiming to demonstrate how Mimberium could help you and what it could do. As you can see, I haven't even used any gamification plugin in this demo site yet. Um, I'm not using GamePress or any Learn Dash or LMS plugin. I'm purely using um, Mimberium, but um, I'm using Jet Engine to make it more powerful and more dynamic. And because there's some sections that I want to customize and um, Jet Engine is very helpful whenever you need to create those kinds of things. So if we're going to control F the short code, so the first one is I created this um, lesson listing status completed. The next one is um, I'm going to control F this. Control F, this one not completed. These are just actually icons. So if they have completed, I want to show this icon. Uh, if they have completed the lesson, that's why I created this um, um, template. It could be more fancy, like example, you could add some words in here, or maybe something um, that is um, necessary for your program. So because we're using Elementor's template, it's, um, there is no limitation for what you could do, what you could hide and show based on the login members tag. Next is, this is the um, status for not completed. Now what I've done here is um, I want to have an indicator if they don't have access. So I'm using the Membrium can view post. Um, this means that will read um, the protection that you set on your post. So example, in here, um, if I'm going to open, let's just say day one, if I edit this, and on the side, it's going to base the rule here. So I, I said that I want members to have this um, level, and I want members to have this um, ID. So if they don't have that, I want the lesson to be locked. So that's what I'm trying to do in here. And I'm just using a template to show, since again, this is a short code from um, Imperium, it's hard to design here. So I'm just grabbing the um, template from Elementor. I simply created a template that has this icon, um, a blank circle for in progress and a lock for um, indicator that they don't have access to this um, post. Um, yet. Okay, so let's let me check if there's still more. I think that's it. Let me, before we move to the other pages, uh, I mean the lesson page, I'm gonna log in here as a sample contact or sample member. So you see what's the difference or how this exactly works. So as an admin, I see everything open. Everything is um, checked. But if, I, oh, um, if I'm if i going to go here and I'm going to drag my um, browser with my uh, login member here. So um, if I go to courses and then course and courses and then course A, um, this is how it looks. Let me just check my um, active campaign here. So I only have, so I manually applied the drip tag for um, day one here. And I have the membership level. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out as um, a member so that it synchronized my data. Um, with the new tags, what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to try this. If this doesn't work, then I'm going to um, log out and then log in again. And then let's see, that works. I'm going to refresh. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to 
log out first. I'm going to show you how to add a logout link in the, um, another video. I'm just going to refresh here just to make sure. Okay. And then I'm going to log in again as this test account that we created. Okay. I'm going to just shrink this browser a bit smaller. And Let's try if this has worked. So course A. Okay. So it says um, I have completed day one, two, day three, and day four and day seven is locked. Now I'm gonna check what's wrong. So I'm just going to go to my users all users member in two okay as you can see the tags here has not um has not been synchronized yet for what i have in active campaign so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna run the update contact record and see if that's gonna work because i want the member to have this tag now and remove the others okay so after running that it actually works and remove those tags that you don't need so sometimes there's some hiccup and you just need to run the http post update contact record to your list or to your member to make this work okay so let's try that again I am going to refresh. Okay. So right now, um, day one, um, I hope you can see this properly, but, um, day one, um, let's check here. So I have a drip tag for day one and that's it. So I have here a circle because that's what I said that I mean, that's what I said, that if they have a drip tag, I wanted to show some circle. And if they have completed this, um, I want this to show with a track. And as you can see, day two to seven are locked. If I click this, What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on um, the redirect functionality. So I'm going to go to the settings, um, content protection, so that it redirects. Redirect. And I'm going to add a page. Um, first, I'm going to update this and I'm going to add a page. No access for this demonstration purpose. Okay. I'm going to use a relative format link. And let's try that again. Okay, so that hide the um, page listing so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna change this to show excerpt but i'm gonna do no access and i'm just gonna update something on my listing 
um, in lesson template because I think I have put the wrong um, part. I should have not added this video because it's going to create some confusion. So I set it to post content. Okay. I'm going to refresh, see how it works now. Let's see what it says. No access. Okay. If I modify this, sorry, you don't have enough access to view this content. Okay. Now, to make this pretty, you could also insert a Elementor template inside here. So you could do that because the editor is very plain. Okay. Oops. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that as default for now. And then this one, um, I should hide this. But let me show you how I will do that. Okay. So I think we have protected the content properly. So, so as you can see, um, day one, um, I have access, but day two and three, um, up to seven, I don't have access since I only have the day one drip. Now, if I mark this complete, let's just say, um, I mark this complete. There's still content yet. I haven't added any content, but if I mark this, then, you can see day one has been marked done and if i go back to my course a the track has been changed or set if i go back to day one again um, instead of mark complete button it now has this message so it works um and that's what we want now day two if I try to click that, it still says, sorry, you don't have access. And I will show you how I'm going to edit this page. So example, um, before I edit this, because I want the mark complete button to be hidden if they don't have access to this um, um, content. So in here, I'm just going to refresh, but in here is, um, I added some listing here so that it creates some navigation. And in my listing, so here, lesson progress. So it looks a bit messy here, but let's focus on the Memberium shortcode because that's what we need. We're taking advantage of the Memberium's mem has any tag. This um, shortcode it's actually very powerful depending on what you're trying to create. As you can see, I'm trying to um, show or create a design like this. So it shows a check mark if the lesson has been completed, but then if they haven't completed it, then it's gonna show a blank one as I have last time and then if they the lesson is still locked, it's going to show some lock indicator. This design that I created here, it's just very simple. But if you could just imagine um, what it could do for your membership site gamification, um, there's actually no limitation because of this short code. And of course, because of um, um, Jet Engine's dynamic field capability, plus with elementary page building. So if I read this, it says, if the member if the member has any tag ID, modulo S, again, we're trying to grab this. And so if they, ha if they have the complete AC tag, then what we're going to do is um, we're going to show this template, which is this one with a check. And again, we have that template in here, templates. We created that here. 
and it's having some hard time to show the list but if I control F it's this one so progress tracker nav completed so it's pulling that and else if member has any tag that means if a member has does not have um, this tag, then we show this template, which we created some um, decision. Um, like, this is still an if else statement, but what we're using is if the member can uh, view this post um, ID, which will again based on the protection that you set on the back end, which is example this one. Day one lesson has this protection and record this tag. So the short code memberium can or mem underscore can view post. It's basing that ID. So it's very um, dynamic. It doesn't rely on just one value that you set maybe in your meta field. It relies on here. So they talk to each other. Um, that short code. So this short code represent this value that you set in here. So that's how I've done it. And then if I go here, as you can see, this works. Now, what I have not done yet is um, I want to hide this mark complete button if they don't have access to the um, course um i'm into the lesson so what i want is um before i hide this i'm going to show you how i created this um button what i've done is i created or and then taken advantage of the membrane's custom shortcode functionality and i created this so in here what I did is, it says, if the member has any tag ID, I created this um, attribute tag ID, then um, show this template. This is a, um, um, a message that the, the um, content is complete. And again, I'm just taking advantage on the Elementor's template so that I could show some um, icons and then it's much easier to design the text or whatever design you have or you want to show if a member has completed your item, then I'm using or pulling the Elementor template. And then if they don't, then show this. So this time I am using the Membrium Automation button tag ID and again I have the same value from here to here and then the button text is um, more complete okay so let's check how we could hide that and if we could okay I'm just gonna close this I'm gonna go to the lesson. So let's just say this one. And I'm gonna open the single post. So it says completed. So this template that you see is this one. Okay, so let's check mark complete Okay Okay, so let's check the Can view post ID. 
Okay. So what I need to do is I need to move this on a template because the thing with um, Imperium short code is it's gonna be tricky if we don't do it in the template because the short code is gonna have some hard time doing the decision or the if else statement if the short code is not formatted properly. So I can no longer um, do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to, I think I could change this to dynamic. So let me just change this dynamic field. And then it says, um, should be post ID. And then I'm going to do uh, short code. And then I'm just going to copy this. Okay. Modulo S. And then I'm going to put my template here. So I'm going to copy this. Actually, once I move this, I don't need to do or to use the shortcode widget anymore. So um, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an Elementor template. And I'm going to add a new one section and then I'm going to do mark complete button and then I'm just gonna try to copy this now and then I'm going to copy the shortcode. Go back here. I'm going to delete this. And then here I'm going to replace this value. Okay. And then I'm going to check if it works. Okay, it's now hidden. Okay. So I think that works. Let me try to open day two. So if I refresh here. So I have drip the day one, completed the day one. I'm gonna drip day two. And I'm gonna update the contact. And let's wait for that. Okay, so day two is now open. I'm gonna click this, and now we have the more complete button showing. If I visit day three, it's gone. So that works. And then if I mark this complete, again, that works. And there's still no button here. So, so far that works. Um, I hope it was clear. What I did is um, I grabbed the dynamic field widget from Jet Engine. I grabbed the post ID because the Imperium can post needs to have a post ID. So post ID needs to have that value before it could process whatever you need is um, inside here. And then this one, 
holds the old short code that we have. Um, remember the one that I deleted? It holds that one. Um, that one has this short code. Maybe I could just change this, but for now, I think that's also is working. So I'm just gonna leave that um way for now. But what it's doing is, um, it's grabbing the complete AC tag and putting that as a value in here. This is the short code that we created in here. Remember, you custom short code. So even if we have a shorter version now in here, as you can see, we have the complete version here. Now it's gonna be, well, if you, if you, um, example, it's gonna be easy to, I mean, it, not easy, but it is possible to just copy and paste this, um, short code and maybe, um, in here. But with this process, um, it's gonna be much easier to maintain later. So whenever I build, um, part of a membership site, I thank for how easy it is to update, um, later. So I know that example, if I need to update the my complete button, um, it's only the space that I need to worry. So custom short codes because the other parts here, these are just calling that short codes, um, really. So if, even if I example, use this template from different parts of the page or different types of posts, um, it's still gonna be fine. I mean, I can still update whatever I need easily in here. So maybe, um, mark. Hold on, so this is interrupting. So if I change this mark lesson complete, and maybe what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drip day three, you will see that the button is also um, updated. I hope it's working now. It's open now, okay. So you can see that the button is also um, updated. So it's very handy. You don't need to worry on a lot of um, location for when do you need to update that mark? Uh, when could you update that mark complete button design? Um, with the setup, um, it's gonna be um, very easy to remember later on. I think I've covered most of the things that I want to show you um, in here. This is a very simple um, example, but it, um, as you can see um, on the course A, we have added some lock indicator and then we have live, um, left um, the items open, but then when they click it, we could put some custom message in here. So if you could imagine, we could do similar um, functionality for the list of courses and put some lock indicator and maybe put some um, progress bar, something like that. Um, Memberium also has um, Memberium progress bar. Count my tags. So they also have that. So maybe in my future videos, I'm also gonna um, create a demonstration how that works. But um, I hope this video helps. Um, and I hope this gives you an idea that, okay, um, you don't need to just have like, example, courses, lessons, and then um, topics, and then that's it. You could be more flexible and you could create the whatever hierarchy or custom post that that you need for your courses because Memberium doesn't lock you with that and it allows you to protect your content properly, whatever post type or content you have. It's actually very powerful. All, as long as you have the clear vision for how you um, want your programs to work, um, Memberium is, I think, the perfect um, membership 
plugin that you could use for your membership site. And I didn't even need to use um any gamification. So as you can see, it's very powerful. Now in my next video, I'm gonna show you some um functionality for awarding some points. And um I think I could also show you some functionality for how to claim something based on that points. Um, um that's gonna be next. I'm also gonna do an automation for how the dripping works. So we're gonna have some two upcoming videos. So um again if you have any question please comment that down below. I will do my best to um answer and help you on your questions. Um and yep, I'll see you in the next video. Um I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Bye.